Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Blessed night, man. Yes. Welcome back to another video. So, bright and early tomorrow morning, the West Indies test team will be taking on a selected first class county team in a four day warm up game. Now, <laughs> generally speaking, when you're playing a warm up game, you want to get everybody involved, you want to get everybody in the squad. Uh, going through some work you want to try and get rid of all the rust you want to make sure that if you have to call upon anyone in that first test you know they are all ready but we haven't played any red ball cricket in a little while so I am going to look at it from this um, angle I'm going to give you the guys that I want to see going out there and batting first and the guys that I want to be bowling now whether they spend a specific amount of overs out there and then give somebody else a bat, don't really matter to me. But I am trying to put together uh, guys that I will be calling upon in the first test. They will be expected to play um, vital roles in that first test against England. So give a listening ear. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So tomorrow morning, as I said earlier, 6 a.m., 5 a.m. AM Jamaica time, right? The West Indies team will be going up against this um, first class select 11. Now, these guys, they are usually pretty good. You know, they are not in England's first team majority of the time, majority of them, but they are usually pretty good, right? So we have to go out there and we have to make sure that we are making a statement. You understand? So, this is how I am looking at it. So, Tejan and Shandopal is out. Roach is out. Those guys were a part of that test team that played against Australia in that test series that we, you know, we drew. Now, we're looking at Craig Brathwaite, the captain, leading from the front, you know, helping Michael Louis in my team is opening, helping him to spend some time at the crease. You know, if we're batting first, I would love to see these two guys going out there, seeing off the new ball. No, they are, I mean, Louis would be making his, his test debut if he gets an opportunity in the first test, right? So he's a first-class cricketer. So the captain, Craig Brathwaite, who is experienced, you would expect him to help the guy through, help him through. You understand? Make sure that um, he's walking him, you know, through certain things. So uh, those are the two guys that I would like to, love to see out there. Would be nice if they can bat out the first um, 40, 50 to an hour. You know, it would be nice to see them get, get through the first hour of play. And when we say get through the first hour of play, it's not like a T20 match where you're going to be forced to play a whole lot of deliveries, a whole lot of overs. This is a first class game. This is a four day game. So the, the balls will be wide outside. You have something that you'll be leaving a lot of time. You understand? It's not like T20 or ODIs where you have to force to play. So, me saying that I want them to bat out the first hour of play doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, um, they're going to have to face a lot of deliveries where they're going to have to be very protective of their wickets. So, it would be nice to see them going out there. And if they can bat for that period of time and also look to score, not only look to survive, you understand? We know that the condition is probably going to be a little bit strange, especially to Michael um, Louis. But look to, 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 to bat time and look to rotate the strike. Um, Kurt McKenzie and Arthur is, you know, would like to see these two guys spending some time at the crease also. So if it's a case where even the captain bats for a good period of time, you know, and then he has to sit, step aside and give one of these guys a chance to bat, that would be good. You know, I don't know if we're going to have guys batting that long where they have to step aside. But it would be good. You know, if it's a four-day game, it would be nice to see us batting out the first day, getting upwards at 280, you know, and probably we could still have six wickets in hand. I would take it. You understand? I would take it. It's a first-class team, but these guys are usually coming from good competition. So, you know, I would, I would take 280, 290, close to 300 with four wickets down up against them not saying that's what's going to happen you know i'm just saying i would take that and then you know on the final on, on the second day we would look to press you know get the lower order um getting some some runs under their belt uh joshua the silver uh jason holder 
these guys will be very important in this um, series. You know, oftentimes we go to England and we lose quite a few early wickets. You know, you usually depend on guys like the Silver, Holder, um, Hodge and these guys in the middle order to do some work. Not saying that we should prepare or we should, we should go with the frame of mind that we are going to lose early wickets. But these things happen, right? And it would be nice to get these guys getting, um, you know, it would be nice to have these guys getting some time out there. Uh, Kevin Sinclair, he also showed a great um, promise with the bat. He, the last time he was, he was out there, you know, last time he, he, you know, he played some, some red ball cricket. So it would, be, it would be nice to see him batting as well. I, I am mostly going to want to see him with ball in hand, but it will be very interesting to see how he goes, especially um, with the ball getting old, him being confident that he has the ability to bat. It would be nice to see him, you know, out there. Alzari Joseph, another man. A um, couple of years ago, um, I think he was 90 that he made in a, in a game. Um, you know, I heard PR, I think he was 80 you know, people are saying, oh, he's going to be the next great all-rounder. I mean, he has the ability, he has some good shots. Um, sometimes, you know, we see where we're in situations where he can just keep a cool head and bat. Um, oftentimes, that's not what happens. But it would be good. It would be good to see him taking the lead as uh, an experienced player. You understand? We have Shamar Joseph coming in to the team also. Jaden Seals. Uh, these guys will be expected to fight uh, with the bat. You know, Shamar has shown that he will take the fight to the team. So Alzari sort of shepherding that lower uh, order to the tail. You know, would be expecting to, to do some work. There, everybody. I want to see everybody out there. You understand? Um, when it comes on to the bowling now, uh, if we're bowling first, whatever it is, we need to see these uh, pacers going through the paces. We need to see them putting that new ball to work. You understand? Allowing the batsman to play, not bowling the shine off the ball. Allow the batsman to play the shine off the ball. If you understand what I mean. I, I don't want us bowling the ball halfway down the track all the time or just bowling it way wild, where they, we're not utilizing the ball. Allow them to play the shine off. Don't hit the shot, don't bowl the shine off the ball. You understand? So it would be nice to see the, the, the seamers out there um, going through the paces, getting some work done. You understand? Um, we're also looking at those part-time bowlers. You know, they will have to play a part in the team. Um, you know, based on who I'm setting my team, I will probably have, maybe not in this warm-up game, but the actual first test, I will probably have three seamers plus holder. So maybe Seals, Roach, Alzari, holder, and then Kevin Sinclair as that frontline spinner. But you're still going to need, um, still going to need another, another, uh, another option, a six bowler. So you're going to need people like um, Alec Arthanes chipping in and bowling. You understand? We know Craig Brathwaite, he has the ability to do some stuff with the ball. But, you know, Alec Arthanes, you know, he's a pretty good half spinner. You know, it would be nice to see him getting some overs under his belt. Also, you know, um, Hodge, we know he, he, he will be doing his thing just the same. Uh, Jeremiah Louis, um, you know, he's able to swing the ball, move the ball around. So it would be nice to see him getting some of the action also you know goody kishmoti all of these guys we're going in with uh kevin sinclair as our frontline spinner but we don't know what what can happen you know so it would be nice to have um even uh even uh goody kishmoti getting a uh, a ball you know zachary makaski he has been with the team for a little while uh he was also there against australia didn't get any game you know probably it would be nice to see him batting in this game you understand um tevin imlak Another one there, very solid in the middle with the bat. Uh, can also do some work with the, with the gloves. You know, we'll be, uh, probably we'll see him also. You know, it's all of three test matches. Usually we play two, but we're getting three this time. So we need to take a look at these guys in the warm-up game. And, you know, we can decide as we go along how we do things. But we're going to leave it right here for now. This is a late night update. So I'm not going to enjoy it out anymore. We will touch base again early in the morning. Bless up.